Hello everybody, this is English Tips and I am Glenda and today I'm going to be answering this question Did you say sheep or ship? And well, this is important because a lot of my students are confused about these two sounds E and E And uh, well, why are these sounds so confusing if you speak Spanish as a first language? That's because in Spanish we only have one sound and it's E it's in the middle, let's say, okay? But in English, we have E versus E. So, what's the matter? Is it that one's long and the other one's short? Well, not really. It's something a little bit different. And by that I mean, it's all about the tension. What's that about the tension? Well, when we pronounce some sounds, we move our mouth and our face muscles in a particular way. So, if we are going to pronounce this sound, E, you can see how my lips and my teeth move, right? I am showing my teeth as if I were smiling. So, if I say a word like peace, you can see the tension here. Peace, or leave, or Eat. Right? So, this is the first and most important difference. So, what can we notice in these three words? Is there a pattern in the way they are spelled? Well, of course there is. And as you can see, it's the combination of letters E, A, spelled E, A, but pronounced E. Okay? In words like sheep, need or speed and the pattern here is ee -E. so again the rule says that when you see these two letters spelled together they're going to sound as e but there are other patterns that are a little bit less frequent for example in the words receive or receipt where we have ei or peace and knees where we find the letters IE together. So these are other two uh, possible patterns. So it's time to practice now. We are going to listen to groups of four words and there are some words that don't contain the E sound. Can you identify them? Let's see. Group number one. Meet. Mean. Met. Meet. Group number two, left, lean, lean, lead. Number three, peas, peas, pins, pins. Number four, sleep, slept, steal, stop. And number five, me, he, she, it. If you need repetition, please stop the video and go back. Now we're going to check the answers. So in group number one, Matt was the effect. Number two, left. Three, pence. Or, well, as you might imagine, there are two words, slip and still. And number five, it. What do you notice in these words? Well, actually the spelling pattern is different, right? We don't have E-A or E-E, -E, but only an E followed by a consonant, like in met in left, or the letter I plus two consonants. Let's see more examples now, uh, starting the second sound. Very well, now we have the second sound, that is uh, uh, in words such as winter, or minute, or it. What do you notice? Look at my mouth. It's very relaxed, right? I barely open my um, mouth, my lips don't move a lot, my cheeks are very relaxed mm -hmm. 
and that's the difference um, compared to the previous sound, which was very tense. Remember, it was e, and this is e, e, e. Also, as you can see here, we have some letter combinations that will help you recognize when you need to pronounce it as e or e. In these words, we have the combination of the letter i plus a consonant. So usually when you have I plus one or two consonants, they'll be pronounced as I. But there are other letters, for example, look at the words syrup or gem or um, system. Here we have the combination of the letter Y plus a consonant. And there's still another group that is less frequent and uh, we can find words such as build, or uh, guitar also we have quick and guilty and uh, here the sound would be I, even though we spell ui all right very well so let's move on now and we're gonna have some practice again very well so I'm going to read some short sentences or questions for you and please um, listen to them repeat them and uh, Try to pay attention to the way I move my lips. So we have the first one. Is this his gift? Is this his gift? Number two. Give him a minute. Give him a minute. Number three. Did you build this guitar? Did you build this guitar? So, if you feel that you need more practice, go back and repeat the sentences. Very well, so now we're going to have a very important exercise in which we're going to compare words that have the tan sound or the lax one. And for this one again, I'm going to ask you to repeat and practice if you need to pay attention to my lips and imitate the way I move them, please. So, um, the first pair would be bean and bin. Then we have sleep, slip. Seat, sit. Feel, fell. Tip, chip. In this activity, I'm going to read a sentence and you have two options in parentheses. What word did I say? Number one. Be careful not to slip there. Be careful not to slip there. Number two. They bought a new ship. They bought a new ship. Three. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Four. We need to change the wheel. We need to change the wheel. And five. What's with the green? What's with the green? So if you need repetition, please stop the video and go back. So if this exercise was difficult for you, well, I've uh, marked the answers with uh, the right color. Green for the lax uh, sound, e, or blue for e, the tense sound. And uh, well, the first sentence was, be careful not to slip there slip like fall fall on the floor instead of sleep number two they bought a new sheep sheep the animal then number four can you feel it can you fill the bottle with water for example number four we need to change the wheel right the round thing that helps your bicycle keep going um, and number five what's with the green Imagine that your friend comes to a party and she's wearing all green. So you don't understand if this means something. You would ask this question, all right? And uh, I hope that this was useful. And that's the way we're going to finish today. I hope that you practice more if you need it. And please don't forget to subscribe. I'll be uh, uploading a lot more tutorials like this to help you pronounce much better. Bye-bye.